In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a Stripe account in 2023. The process has slightly changed in the last year. So this is an updated version for anyone who wants to know how to create a Stripe account. The process is very easy. First thing you need to do is go to stripe.com. Here you can learn more about Stripe. It's a credit card processing platform, similar to something like PayPal, a lot of online platforms such as Shopify, Google, Lyft, all of these companies and hundreds of thousands of other companies use Stripe to process credit card payments securely. Now, the nice thing about Stripe, similar to PayPal, it's free to sign up. You only pay when someone actually makes a payment and you have to process that payment through your Stripe account. When you process a payment, there will be a fee to process the payment. So if you go to the pricing page, you will be able to see how much Stripe charges every time you process a payment. And here you can see it's 30 cents per transaction and 2.9% of the total payment amount. Now, the fees might be slightly different depending on where you live, um, but I'm based in Canada and these are the fees that we pay when we use Stripe. So to sign up, Let's go back to the home page and let's click on the button that says start now. First thing you need is an email address. I'm just going to use this account here for this demonstration. Um, you have to fill in your full name. My name is Yaku Van Heerden. And by the way, guys, um, if you are a restaurant and if you do any online ordering, Please check out Chow Local. This is a commission-free food delivery app and online ordering system that we developed for restaurants. Now back to the tutorial. You have to provide a password. So I'm just going to uh, set up a password here. Now that you've created an account, uh, you can choose to save your login details if you want. You'll see that Stripe will send you an uh, email to your email address to verify that this is a real email address. And that Here's that verification email that Stripe just sent me. So I'm going to click on the button. That'll just verify my email address. Now what I have to do is I have to activate my account. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide Stripe with all the necessary information that it needs to set up my account for my business, or you could be a sole proprietor and ultimately connect my bank account to my Stripe account so that when someone makes a payment and I process it with my Stripe account, that the funds can be sent to my bank account. You can see the first thing that it asks is where your business location is. I've already specified this during the sign up process previously. Your type of business, I'm going to say I'm a corporation. Now I'm going to continue. Okay, now you have to provide your legal business name. So if you have a, a numbered company or something like that, or you know whatever your legal business name is, Next, depending on the country that you've selected, you might see some different fields here. But in Canada, we have a GST number or a business number. So I'm going to provide that business number right now. Then you can specify the name of your business that you're doing business as. So often if you have a numbered company or something like that, you might actually operate with a different business name. So I'll call my business Buster's uh, Pizza. And now you're going to also provide your address for the business. Or in this case, I'm pretending that I'm creating a Stripe account for a restaurant. So I'm going to put my restaurant address in here. Now you have to specify the industry that you're in. So I'm just going to type res, oops, uh, restaurants. You can see it brings up restaurants and nightlife. So that's good enough for me. And then you're going to have to put in your address for your website. So in this case, I'm just going to say chowlocal.com because I'm going to be using my Stripe account to process any orders that people place through my Chow Local account. But if you're processing orders through your website, or you can put in whatever address you want there. And then a brief description of your business. So then we'll continue on. Now you have to provide your own perso personal information, your legal name, and then your email address, then your date of birth. And I'm just going to say uh, this will be my date of birth. Then you have to provide your home address.
and then you'll see it asks for your social insurance number but this is optional so i'm just going to continue having said that if you don't provide that social insurance number expect to hear from stripe they might ask you to provide a copy of your driver's license or something like that now we're at the step where you're going to specify what shows up on the customer's credit card receipt so i'll just say buster's pizza and then you also have to provide a shortened descriptor um, so here you'll see if i go buster's pizza and you can see i i can't even fill out the whole name so something like that or just buster's whatever um, you think is best and then here you want to provide a phone number that your customer can call whenever they have any concerns about a payment so a customer support number and then you can continue on to the next step now uh, we're going to provide the information that stripe needs to do a direct deposit to your bank account okay so i've filled this screen out um, now here it is going to ask you to set up two-step auth authentication uh, to keep your account secure and you can do that i'll just go through the process of setting this up so i'm just going to provide my phone number um, so this way if anyone ever logs into my account without my permission they are going to be required to enter this um, verification number that gets sent to my phone uh, every time i try to sign in or anyone tries to sign in so highly recommend that you do this and it's an easy step to complete now once that's done let's just click on continue here we can, we're just going to skip all of this um, i don't do any of my tax settings in stripe usually uh, depending on the e-commerce platform that you use for example if you're using chow local you can set your taxes in chow local or whatever e-commerce system you're using so then here we go we've got an account set up and now we have to just agree and click the submit button again and that will then set up our account and now that our account is set up we will be able to connect it to chow local or shopify or any other platform that is allows you to integrate with stripe for online payments thank you guys if you enjoyed this video um, feel free to give it a like and if you are a restaurant owner, again, check out chowlocal.com. You can scroll down, learn more about this project, and hopefully we see you guys signing up.